Hi, my name is Evan Childers. I'm a fire prevention tech for the Spokane District Bureau of Land Management. And we have arrived at our sampling location. As you can see, this location has a high concentration of sage and is representative of the general location. Um, some things that we want to focus on when we are taking the sample is that we avoid this dead twiggy stuff, dead leaves, um, things like that, that can throw off the sample. Um, and we also want to make sure that we're getting samples all the way around the plant. So we want to get samples from the top, we want to get samples from the bottom, and we want to get samples from the sides. And then we want to make sure that we get the sample vessel about three quarters of the way full. So we have plenty of sage to sample when we take it back to the office. At this time, if you'd like to, you can add weather data to your data set. Um, at the Spokane District, we use a Kestrel to record our weather data, including relative humidity, wind speed, and temperature. Um, when you have that recorded and written down, um, make sure you store your sample in a cooler to ensure that the temperatures for the sample stay relatively um, consistent. All right, hi folks, Jason Sarxina back with you. Now that we return to the office, we're going to prepare our sample for moisture analyzation or going into the oven to dry. Uh, what we'll have here is we have our canister where we collected our sample. When we get it back, we like to shake it up and mix it up. If you recall, Evan uh, collected samples from all over the plant itself, all over the sage. We like to mix it up so we get a decent representation. Next we'll do is now we're ready to open. This next step will want to be completed with clean, dry hands as to not add any extra moisture. What we will do, either using your scissors or your fingers, we like to go ahead and begin to pull our sage leaves off and onto a collection tray. We use the Arizona Instruments CompuTrack 4000 XL. This is a machine that runs samples in a very quick time frame, which allows us to be more efficient and effective. We've also tested this against a traditional oven and have found very little deviation uh, in result. All right, folks, back here with the CompuTrack Max 4000 XL, which we will be using to get our fuel moisture. Uh, very easy piece of equipment to use with a nice interface, built-in scale, our heating element, and fan. In order to get to our program that we would like to test, you can see we are already set up, but we can go to Program, Sage, and then all we have to do is click our Start button. At this point, as you can see, the piece of equipment prompts us to open the lid, place our empty pan onto the scale, and then close the lid. At this point, it will start zeroing out the weight of the pan, and this sample will only require us to submit three to five grams of sage. So we have our sage leaves, and we will go ahead and add on diligently with clean, dry hands. As you can see, it's weighing out. and it'll let you know when you hit it. So we are just over three grams. At this point, all we do is close the lid and let the machine work. At this point, our sample has been weighed and dried and measured. Uh, as you can see, our interface lets us know that it actually only took us eight minutes to come out. Uh, for our live fuel moisture of this piece of sage, we are currently sitting at 63%, which we would assume we have done this sample at this time in uh, late September. Uh, which we would consider a seasonal trend. 